Hello, Millers. This is a presentation to learn about Naviance. Today, we're going to learn what it is, how to access it, how it is used, how to utilize the self-discovery assessments, how to research and save careers, and how to generate a list of potential career interests. If you haven't done so yet, take a moment to scan the QR code on the left. You can save it to your iPad home screen by clicking on the icon that has the little arrow in it. Once you've added it to your home screen, click on the icon to sign in. You can also access Naviance directly through Clever. To sign in, first click on Student. Next, you'll click on Continue with Clever. The first time you do this, you might have to type in the school name. Begin by typing in Noblesville, and you should see Noblesville High School to select. From there, you can log in by either using your Noblesville School's email address or your Canvas account. This will take you to the main screen in the home page of Naviance. You should notice your name in the upper left-hand corner. Naviance is Noblesville's powerful college and career resource and research tool. Every Noblesville High School student has a Naviance account, and you can sign into it directly using Clever. You'll notice across the top different tabs. Each of these tabs takes you to a different area. The home screen is the one that you can always come back to to navigate Naviance. We use Naviance for three main things. For self-discovery, to learn about ourselves. For careers, to explore potential careers. To research colleges and even to request transcripts and send letters of recommendation during the senior year. Today we're going to spend time in the self-discovery page. Click on the self-discovery tab at the top of the screen and select self-discovery home. This takes you to a page with seven cards. Each card represents one assessment that you can take to learn about yourself. These assessments will help you learn about everything from your interests to your personality type, to your learning style, and you can even filter careers off of three of these assessments. Each assessment is suggested to take 10 to 15 minutes. You can take them on your own time whenever you'd like. You can use them to learn about yourself, to connect to potential careers, and the really neat thing is that you can take them as many times as you want. So as you move through high school, if your interests change, you can retake the career interest profiler and you may get a whole different set of results. Today, we're actually going to focus on the career interest profiler. You'll find this down in the center bottom part of your screen. The career interest profiler captures your interests to help identify your personality traits and suggest careers based on the US Department of Labor's data. You should plan to spend at least 15 minutes on this assessment, although I think you'll find that it will take less time. You'll answer 60 questions about your interests. The Career Interest Profiler then maps your results to Holland's six personality traits, and Naviance can then show you careers that map to your traits and educational aspirations. What's in it for you? You'll learn your personality traits according to the Holland Code and how those help with career exploration and planning. You'll inform your career planning process with career recommendations based on your personality. And teachers and counselors will understand you in careers that might be a good fit for you. So to show an example of how this works, you'll see question number one. It says, tell us how much each statement is like you. Think about how you prefer to learn and work and then choose the answer that best fits. So look at each statement. On the left, you'll see, develop a way to better predict the weather. Don't think too long about it, but select the answer that best indicates your level of interest in doing the statement. Then you'll click next and move on to question two. Work in a biology lab. How interested in you are working in a biology lab? Click next. Continue until you reach the end of the assessment. Now let's pause this presentation to take a couple of minutes to take the career interest inventory assessment. Success! You are done. The Career Interest Profiler helps you find careers by mapping your interests to six basic personality types called the Holland Code. 
The higher you score, the more you are like that type. What's next? Take a look at the traits where you received your highest scores and then view the related careers for those types. Consider your education and training aspirations. You have to level up your skills to break into any occupation. Different careers require different certification, licenses, and degrees. These can take anywhere from a few months to over five years. Filter related careers by education to find careers that match your needs. You are unique. Not every career that matches a personality type will be a match to your interests, skills, aspirations, or desired lifestyle. The trick is to discover the ones that do. Be sure to favorite careers that interest you to save them for later. So on the right, you'll see um, what your score should look like or what you can expect to see when you finish the assessment. You'll notice that your Holland traits are listed um, the, with the highest being first, and then there will be cards for your top four Holland traits. If you scroll further down the page, you'll even see a, just a description of each of the Holland traits. So take a moment to view your top Holland traits. Next, click on View Careers to be taken to the Career Exploration page. Find careers that interest you. So you're ready to discover interesting careers and Naviance is here to help. Here you can filter careers by education, national salary, career cluster, and more. Each filter you add narrows your search. Experiment and see what you discover. Since you clicked on um, view related careers from the career interest profiler assessment, you'll find that the cards that are popping up have been filtered based on the results of your interest profiler. On this page, you'll see an overview of each career. Each card provides a brief description of the career, the education level required, and the median salary. You'll notice there's a little heart at the bottom of each card to favorite potential careers. To view more detailed information about a career, click on the link inside the card. As an example, we'll click on Forensic Science Technicians. You'll see this takes you to much more information. There is still an overview of the occupation that describes the occupation, the education, and the median national salary. You can also see the national clusters and pathways. You can see a description of what they do, and you can see wages across the country. You'll also see as it relates to your Holland traits, related measures, and related careers. You'll also note that there are different tabs on this screen. The Skills and Experience tab shows you what skills are necessary to do the career and experiences. The Wages tab shows how much you might earn doing this occupation. You can view this information by clicking and hovering over each state. It will also show you the wages by city within the state of Indiana. And if there are any upcoming work-based learning events, you'll see those noted here. Take some time to explore the careers related to your top Holland traits. Favorite two or three careers that seem interesting to you. Thank you for taking the time to do the Career Interest Profiler today. We spent some time today learning about Naviance, Noblesville's powerful college and career research tool. We know that every student has a Naviance account and can access it simply by logging in through Clever. We learned how to utilize the self-discovery tab and that there are seven assessments that we can use to learn about ourselves, our interests, our strengths, our learning styles, and that we can take those assessments and use that information to research and save information about careers. We can generate a list of potential career interests. And the cool thing is, is that Naviance is something that we can utilize during our entire four years at Noblesville High School to research careers and colleges. Another reason that we spent some time in Naviance today is to teach you and to get you thinking about your possible career interests. On Tuesday, October 25th, our 10th and 11th grade students will take the PSAT in the morning. During that time, our 9th grade students will participate in a career day. Students will participate in a career fair, and we wanted you to have some 
time thinking about potential careers prior to this activity. At the career fair, there will be career representatives from all over Indiana, and they'll be here to offer you an opportunity to ask questions to learn about potential careers. Last but not least, take a minute to scan the QR code on the right and take a brief survey. This information will be shared with your school counselor. You will also receive a follow-up email at your Noblesville School's email address. If you have any questions about Naviance or exploring careers, please feel free to reach out to your school counselor. We're here to help. Have a great day, Millers.